so we're blessed. There are people who will open the door for somebody else or say, yes, ma'am. You go other places, it's not quite like that. There's something that there was May Apples. Like. Yeah. The town of Apple Springs is a unique small town with an interesting history dating back to around 1865. Established after the Civil War, Apple Springs was originally called May Apple Springs due to the abundance of May apples that grew on the banks of a nearby spring-fed creek. The name was shortened to Apple Springs in 1884 when the first post office opened. Groveton, Lufkin, and Northern Railroad was soon built between Groveton and Vare. The town then moved a short distance to be in a closer proximity to the railroad. By the time of World War I, the community had three general stores, a gin, a bank, a cafe, and a population was 75. The railroad was then abandoned in 1931 and the town was moved to State Highway 94, which was constructed two years before. In the mid-1930s, Apple Springs had 12 rated businesses and 150 residents. The Apple Springs School was established around 1939, about two years later, the gym was then finished and still remains the school's gym today. Before the school was built, students would go to smaller schools in the surrounding areas such as Centralia, District Number 35, and Center Point, District Number 40. It was made possible for all students to go to Apple Springs due to school buses that would pick the kids up. Before the final school was built in 1939, Apple Springs had one schoolhouse which was sawed in two with a handheld saw and moved to the location of the new high school. The population of Apple Springs grew during the 1950s through the 1960s, and in 1965, the high was 285. In 2000, the population grew to 185 and 21 businesses, and in 2014, the population was 350. The population today is 1,070 and has a total of three businesses. And they all showed up. Friday Night Lights. Yeah, when we played High Island this year, they were um, ranked quite a bit, you know, higher than we were. Had a really good football team, and uh, you know, we beat them here at home. Um, that, that was a that was a great game, great great effort by the, by our guys. And then also, you know, last Friday we we came up seven points short, but uh, you know, we were. We were going to win it with three seconds left, so um, they, they came back from a lot of adversity. They've just done a lot for me, and they're always here for me if I need anything with personal life or anything. Well, you know, really changed me, you know. I, made me more mature, especially like coming out here every night, every day, practicing with the boys. It makes me a better man, honestly. 18 years ago, which, well, when was that? Like 2000? Four maybe, something like that. Um, Apple Springs had uh, played 11 men football up to that point, okay, and their enrollment had dropped to the point that they just didn't have enough students. You know, it was just too hard, and they couldn't finish games, they couldn't finish the season, all that kind of stuff. So, they had actually made the decision to take football out of the curriculum and not have football anymore. The spring of that year, um, I came here uh, on a temporary basis. They they were short some administrators, and so I was just going to come finish the year and be gone. Okay. Uh, the superintendent at that time, uh, his name is Greg Spivey, and he and I had known each other for a long time. We would coached uh, together at different times, and. He said, what do you know about six-man football? And I said, well, I know they have six people, you know, well, not a whole lot, but anyway. Uh, we just kept talking about it, and we decided to try it the next year on kind of a trial basis. I think we played six games or something that, that first year. We won them all, and everybody got excited about football. Apple Springs is considered in the South. The South is different than the rest of the United States. In the South, we have the good-natured people, the kind people, the considerate people. 
I really think the kids here are really giving and they care about each other. They pick and play all day, but if someone else tries to encroach on them, they defend each other. Acts of kindness are an attribute of good character, and I see that all the time. The little students were getting ready to get on the buses. The majority of the teachers during that process were constantly taking care of these little kids and being kind to them as if they were their own kids. Growing up, I went to a really big school, and so it was fun to be here and see the small town experience. I like the smaller school better because you actually get to build relationships with people that you work with and the families of the kids that you teach and it's usually not like that at a bigger school. I mean, you might be working with people that you say hi to once a month, and it's not that way at a small school. You see everyone every day, and you're having personal conversations, and so I really like it. Everything that our students do is memorable in its own way because they put their heart and soul into everything they, they do. They've done several performances and plays, and everything they do is 100%, and it's always touching uh, to see the kids so actively involved in the things at the school. For the larger school I came from, um, wonderful education, great school, loved my experience there, but definitely a different feeling to come to work to every day. It didn't quite feel as, as it didn't feel like coming home. When I got here, it was instantly like being home.